been a long time since I've done a general update. Um, so pretty exciting. We were able to get our front big window wall here in. Uh, we cut away the air form finally and um, got some help from friends and got the big arch window put in. Um, it took us like, I don't know, most of the day just to get the air form cut away and you know get it all trimmed up. There's still a little more trimming to do and to seal the edges but um, the upper window's in and so is our panoramic door. So I'll have to do a separate video on how the panoramic door functions. It's pretty neat. Um, but in the meantime, you can see this is the ring beam. So this ring beam, if you go back and like look at, you know, the rim, ring beam um, videos is not connected to the house actually. Um, but, and it doesn't have any rebar in it. It was just there basically as a giant paperweight to hold the edge of the air form down because um, the way they construct it is they put in a wooden spray block um, for the shape, but they still needed a big anchor to, uh, you know, attach the air form to because the air form is a whole dome. Um, the other thing we did was the exterior of our um, stem wall has several inches of sprayed insulation that goes down 24 inches underground. Um, to insulate the slab and um, that insulation would have been exposed so we decided after looking into a whole bunch of different options to fabricate our own uh, copper flashing uh, so we soldered it to create you know where the corners would be you can kind of see here yeah and uh, it still needs to be, I think I'm going to hammer it because the insulation is really like inconsistent underneath it as far as like an edge goes. So that's why there's like, you know, areas where there's like actually an edge and areas where it's more of a ramp. Um, so I think if I do a hammered edge or hammered texture on it, it won't be so obvious that the insulation underneath is inconsistent and that's why it looks a little lumpy. Um, so... I will get to that eventually, but for now, this is how it is. Um, and I'll take you inside now so you can see the inside view. We are leaving the ring beam like that because that's going to be a stone patio and we thought it was kind of neat. Plus, it's a giant pain to like get rid of that giant arch of concrete. All right, come inside. <laughs> this is all the packaging materials that came with our kitchen cabinets, which I will show you in a minute. But it's so nice to finally have cut all that air form away. So we designed this whole front of the house on the view. And we have that little cutback area up at the top to give that front edge sort of an interesting little, almost like a little bite out of it. All right, so otherwise updates, we finished the rest of the spray insulation to fill the cavity. So these are six inch um, exterior walls here. So they're two by sixes. Uh, and so there's, they, we filled them pretty much all the way. We cut off the excess. So there is six inches, almost six inches of consistent insulation. And um, also here you can see we used rock wool in our, we made two by six walls with alternating two by fours so we could weave the rock wool in around. Unfortunately, we had to go in and we did this and then we had to pull it back out again because we forgot we needed to test the, um, the plumbing that we did. So we ran hot and cold water. Um, so this is a half bath. The sink will be right there on the left. The toilet's on the right. Um, there's gonna be a, a countertop behind it along that wall with the insulation. And it goes up. And this wall separates the main living space here with the kitchen and the great room with um, a, a wing of bedrooms and the bathroom. So I'll go this way for now. 
So you've seen the pocket doors. Um, this is our pantry, kind of dark, can't really see. In the back, back there, you can kind of see it. That's our passive uh, radon system. But there will be shelving on the right and a swing door that opens to the left. It's a walk-in pantry. It'll have like a hallway and all the shelving. This is a bathroom right here. You can tell we're got the mold resistant sheetrock. And if I come in and stand in this corner, right here is a shower. And it goes up. You'll be an open top shower here. Um, that's the eight foot mark there. This first closet here is laundry. The laundry closet. And then over there is the linen closet. And then it is open all the way up to the 16 foot mark for this dome. Up there is the bathroom vent. And the sink would be right here on my left where the ladder is. And those are the areas for like the mirror and whatnot. There is a both a linen closet and a uh, another a small linen closet and a uh, sink cabinet, I guess. I'm trying to think of what it's called. So if we walk into this bedroom, you can see, we, it's kind of dark, but you can see we've started She Rock on that exterior wall because we got the sign off from the building department for the insulation being thick enough. And then, yep, so that closet there, so the eight foot mark, and then it goes up to 16 feet in this bedroom. It's a good sized bedroom. There's room probably in two different places to put at least a queen size bed, probably on this wall. And I put up the, those are gonna be wall sconces. And then same thing across the hall here. We haven't gotten as far in this one. I'll walk over here to the corner. And closet to the eight foot mark. We haven't done above yet. But that goes again up to 16 feet in this one. Again, another bedroom that it's a little, probably a little more, well, actually, this wall here will be the one that has the bed on it. And this definitely, again, has room for at least a queen size. Um, over the closets, we put in stud work in the bedrooms that would allow us to put in lofts. So you could potentially put you know, like a bed, a single bed upstairs in the loft. Okay, and then over here, this is that common area that eventually can be turned into a second small kitchen. Because if you look under here, can you see them? There you go. All that conduit and whatnot there is for pulling utilities for a kitchen eventually. And so if you look up, up there is a little kind of attic space that will have an air exchanger and a whole house dehumidifier. We got uh, smart units that you can control with apps on your phone. Hopefully that doesn't backfire on us. Sometimes I feel like the technology that requires the apps on your phone and whatnot can be not all that helpful sometimes. All right, so if we go this way, show you our, this whole wing of the house is just storage. So we have all of our kitchen cabinets and stuff here. We got unfinished maple cabinets that we'll be staining once we get them into place. And yeah, that's about it for our update for now. I'll try to do them more often. I've not been very good about it.